what is up, y'all? I'm having a bit of an impromptu debate you going on to a server where I don't really have any control of what they do, but I figured I'd record it and have some fun. Um, oh, that. up y'all welcome to this bit of impromptu debate you my phone as well says hello um we are going to have some fun in discord and we are going to see if maybe we can find some evidence for god who knows but I just want to send some quick shout outs to all of you watching in this premiere, to all of our mods, to you can tell my brain is looking. Here we go. Sending love as well to all of our supporters. Many ways you can support, but just sending shout outs to Chris Disciple, Dale Pastel, Azo, Dave Gar, Rachel Holland, Ian Davenport, and Rejos. Thank you, everyone. You can also join our channel membership with our evolving badge system. It triggers creationists because it evolves. Things that evolve really can't happen. And our Patreon at patreon.com slash Amy Newman. I am Amy Newman. Also sending love out to my co-host, James W. And all right. Let's see if I can set this up. Make sure that it's on the right. Yes, it is. Okay. Hello there. Hello. How are you? It's okay, I guess. Well, figured I'd get How'd you do, Newman? Oh, I'm doing good. Oh, no. Um, so, what is it you would like to debate me about? So, I have about 30 minutes. Generally, what I prefer to debate about is religion, but that always sometimes gets circumvented by other topics, like LGBTQ and other types of social issues, but I am a counter-apologist. I am here to invite people to walk away from, if not religion, really the theistic belief itself, the belief that there is an agent that is the creator of the universe and that is timeless, you know, that is omnipresent. I think that this is an outdated concept. I think it does our society a lot of harm. Okay, so... Um... You're an atheist who believes there are enough known facts in the uh, and by mankind and science. I assume. Let me know if I'm wrong. Right? Yeah. You're an atheist. Who I am an atheist. There's enough known facts 
who believes there's enough known facts uh, known by modern day science to disprove God. To believe that the God concepts that we've been given so far are incorrect. There may be other God concepts that I'm unfamiliar with that are actual, the true God. However, the gods on this planet so far are very human-like. They have a lot of our traits. Um, they have a lot of our goals and aspirations. And so they show a lot of the underpinnings of what you would expect if they were to come from us. Peace be with you. Yeah, all right. I'm not. I'm not coming from a position of more no. than one God. So, uh, but like, listen, just like I say, correct me when I'm going wrong. Right? Oh, yeah, and so. I will say just to point out, and I, I consider so the many gods. I call that the classic theist, and then I believe there's something that we would call the modern theist. So the modern or the neo, whatever you'd like to call it, these types of theists believe only in one God, and so these would be. Kai, they they were the Jews uh, originally. That's the link. But now you think of them as the Christians, the Muslims, the Mormons. This is this type <clears throat> of new theism that seems to be coming to dominate. Okay. Well, we're nearly three minutes in, and all I've got so far is that you're an atheist. Let me try again. You're an sure, atheist, but you also have a lot of my worldview. I already said I was an atheist. That gave you context. Let him you talk. Like to go over. Amy, I did. Let him talk. I, I will say he said interrupt me when I'm being wrong. He did say that, but by all means, have as much time as you'd like. Thank you. Amy. You're not an atheist. You're welcome. I am an atheist. Right. Okay. So you're an atheist. Do you believe there's enough known facts known by modern science to disprove God, the one Creator of all? Well, that would be one very a specific God, but yes, I believe so far there are enough facts within our scientific realm to disprove these types of religions like Christianity and Islam. Uh, the ones that would call the one true creator of the universe, that type of language, it's very Abrahamic. All right, well, I don't necessarily agree with religions myself. Right? Yeah, I think they're all corrupt somewhat, but I don't also believe that you need any particular religion religion to find god god is omnipotent and he can find you if you call out for him nevertheless like in order to you know get a foundation of who i'm debating and arguing with i still uh we, we so you believe there's enough known facts to disprove god regardless of any religion Yes, I would say regardless of any religion and i would even say that we have enough known facts to disregard omnipotence Okay, and what and what can you give me a rough synopsis or surmise of what these known facts are? Sure. So, if we are an agent, do you mean very specifically just God in general or omnipotence? Um. Well, let's come to an agreement on what we mean: the creator of all, uh, everything, the creator of everything, life consciousness the gift of wisdom and all that everything that we are talking about right now and everything in between one creator of all that's what i'm saying is god the omnipotent one creator powerful the guy that holds the source the guy or entity or or uh frequency however you wish to describe sure, it right? i yeah, call but... this modern theism okay whatever that holds the source code to all of life as we know it like asking you to believe that that entity exists but you believe in that definition i like i said i believe it's a common popular it's the the modern theism they have supplemented the pagans that used to be the vast majority of the earth so sure i think it's a very co common belief here in a, not only in the united states but around the world especially in the west and what are these known facts by modern science that you think exist that uh sure. prove so, for yeah, example, disprove the existence of God. So, for example, we've never had an agent be a law of nature. So, for all examples of laws of nature, they come from what we would call things like gravity that don't have anything to do with an agent. And so, agents generally tend to think, they tend to really have, uh, they are doing things out in the world, which really I would like to know more about. You didn't say timeless, but oftentimes it comes with timeless. That would make no sense from anything that we know. 
at least from our given the, fifth. the force and relationship between the planets we can't calculate. Sure, but what I'm saying is we don't seem to have any reason to think that comes from an agent. Okay, okay. Um, and from well, well, it you, makes well, you okay, think. Well, don't interrupt him. Well, well, please right? don't interrupt. Well, it well, it's, a, it's a one on one. But it's well, being... it's a one on one. Well, it's a one on one, man. Yo, um, what makes you think uh, agency needs to compete with law in the first place? Where do you get this frame of mind from? Oh, so a creator very specifically comes from an agent. We only have very small examples of creators, only of animals. They're the only known creators we have so far in the universe. There may be other creators. However, it would go, you know, against all knowledge that we have so far. And so, so do you, do you believe in the Big Bang? Yes. And Ew. do you think that's been proven by modern science? Yes. It just went How? bang. How we can know the Big Bang from two different that's ways. Science. We have the microwave background radiation. It's sometimes uh, the static in everyone's TV, but it is an early imprint of the universe and also from Hubble's law. Hubble's law dictates that everything is moving outward. We call this red shifted. The only thing that is blue shifted is at the Andromeda galaxy, which one day we will collide with. And do you think this proves the Big Bang how? These are two examples. So that it, it, it uh, very much proves expansion. We know how the universe looked when it was young. We now can look at the universe, and we also are seeing everything moving in every Does direction. Does that make the universe intelligent or no. unexpansive? It, it has uh, Intelligent would actually be, I'd say, cold and very specifically intelligence. Only this very small branch of only this very small branch of life. Do you think life can come from where no life came before? Yes. How? From chemicals. We have a very fertile planet. We look like the type of planet that you would expect life to arise in. So for example, right. we have lots of carbon. We are within the circumstellar habitable zone. This allows us to have liquid water. Other planets that are in here are Venus and Mars. And so with these two combinations, it's not too surprising, as well as carbon just being, John Stewart's joke, the slut of the periodic table. It makes more chemical combinations and all other chemicals combined. And so it's not surprising that we arrived on this planet and from carbon. So if I don't believe in yeah, those guys, you're making you're making a really out? you're making a, a a series of illogical leaps. You mentioned stuff like water that contains bioorganism and matter, aka life forms. When I'm talking about life where no life came from before, you haven't explained the Big Bang. The Big Bang has never been explained because the theory is right. Yeah, but Bang! from nothing came something. Yeah. But no, that no. doesn't fit with that doesn't fit with the scientific method, does it? Sure, that's a common misconception science. of the Big Bang. The Big Bang came from a singularity that expanded. It's more apt to think that something has always existed than that we came from nothing. I understand. From the I bank. understand that's a theory, but how do you think it's been proven? Sure, but when you mean a theory, you mean one of the highest things in science, like the theory of gravity, the theory of germs, the theory of evolution. So you say it's just a theory. You're saying something containing of facts, right? No, I'm asking you. How do you think that's it's been proven? Science that was the question. Sure, I'm just telling you what science says, and so this is what's taught within undergraduate and graduate studies. If you um, want to contend it, you would have to put yourself within the peer review process. Hey, the burden of proof doesn't fall upon my shoulders to uh, prove anything. Right, yeah? Sure, then I'm it, it's going to keep on. I'm denying the claim. Process. I'm asking you, right? I'm asking you with what I, I'm already, I already know the answer to my question before I answer it. I'm asking you. It's kind of weird. Makes you think it constitutes proof and evidence that the Big Bang actually happened. And do you also think that the Big Bang and God, the creator of all, are incompatible? So, number one, no offense, I did explain why that is evidence of why the expansion is continuing to go on and why it is 
viewed as an expansion event and a big bang was just really a nickname that we just use. But my question for you, why do you think everything is expanding? Why, why does it seem to be like that? Because mankind is looking. Is looking, that's why it's expanding. We make things expand, that's amazing. Because mankind keeps searching, the universe keeps expanding. But that's, that's exactly why the no, no no when I mean expanding, I mean mind like over matter. Physically. Mind over matter. I come from a, you asked me a question. I come from a position of Malcolm mind X over matter. 11. Sure. So you're saying the, the galaxies are moving away from us because we just really we're just really putting our effort into it. No, no, no. <laughs> but however you wish to describe it, right? Yeah, I don't think it's a conscious uh, effort in this three-dimensional realm that we're in now. It's obviously mind. If if mind over matter is, it's a theory in science as well. So if there's any um, if there's any uh, veracity to it, right? Yeah, then like uh, the the universe as matter vibrating at molecular stroke uh, molecular levels is materializing for as long as mankind keeps searching out there and looking that's right that's what i believe is happening and okay. mind over matter would okay. explain that perfectly. let's let me ask this the opposite direction why is the andromeda galaxy seem to be heading into a collision course with ours how how um how familiar are you, familiar are you with with particle physics as much as a layperson would be. So do you understand that a molecular structure, right? Yeah, you can change one object into another by changing its frequency. Oh, is this, can I just ask, is this an answer to why Andromeda is like twirling towards us? No, but it's, it's kind of an answer to the universe being made out of frequency and mind over matter. The more we are endeavoring to search out there, that will explain why the universe keeps expanding. It's a it's a plausible theory, See, but that's not it's not unique to me. It's one that was conjured up by some of the highest minds in academia that you point to. But you seem to be th taking what I'm saying metaphorically. I mean, physically, literally, they are run like they are pushing themselves away, and within millions of years, there's going to be a point where it's we can't actually see other galaxies. Their lights have traveled so far that ours can't catch up with them and we will look as if we are alone in the universe why does that seem to be happening i haven't got the answers for everything i'm just saying in it that the universe is ever expanding as far as mankind is concerned is because we are continually continuing well, what are you upset with life there, or ever death? And ever more. then are you speaking to i'm not upset with anything the atheist. Oh, I like life and I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of dying. That's probably going to suck. But death is not but all I was, all, afraid of. All I was trying to explain with, was with the particle physics is we've proved that matter is really vibrant in a frequency at a molecular level. So you can take that modus operandi, that law, that science has proven categorically, right? Yeah. And apply it to the rest of the universe. That up. It's vibrating at a frequency, at a molecular level, and we are making it happen by looking at it. Also, they've proven that particles, when observed, act differently to when not observing them. Oh, yeah, like stuff only materialistically is happening when we are consciously looking at it. This has also been proven to some degree within the realms of. Uh, particle so physics. I and, think you're talking uh, about the observer effect, and it's not an actual what? agent because it keeps What's anything it uh, as an agent. Schrodinger's or cat so. would fail. You said I've shown you nothing but respect through this conversation. I've tried to show you respect as well. Okay, I guess keep on going, and we'll come back to that. Oh, you've knocked me off rail right now. You carry on going. You want oh. to just okay, it's very specifically Schrodinger's cat. It's sometimes mistaken that an agent. Uh, is the one who actually makes the cat either alive or dead. It's anything that disturbs it. A, a perfect, undisturbed thing. We truly do not know if it's alive or dead. But it, it, if a particle acts as an agent and could, technically speaking, would be an observer, 
within the example of Schrodinger. It's not our actual so, yeah. minds that's affecting particles. It's just the universe. Yeah. What if we just we want to make believe a God is real because it makes us feel better? Is it then true or false? It, it doesn't make it any more true. Uh, it, I, but does it make it i think it makes it true i think if you can conjure up this idea of a god and it makes your life better and you believe it i think that makes no, Newman, it true there's a danger Newman, if that. you believe you're a man or a woman does it make it true uh well, well it, it depends work? on if we're talking about sex or gender i mean you can't change one sex <laughs> and there's no one generally speaking i mean the, the the world is big i'm sure there's someone but generally speaking that will say that they can change their sex they will generally say there are a set of gender uh rules that we follow i'm just saying we correlate higher with those gender rules Gender politics is so boring, though. But or identity. But politics. Gender politics is such crap never, because you should be able to do what you're saying. I never, I never, the, I never asked. Uh, uh, can I get a definitive answer? Right? Yeah. Like as brief as no, possible. No, you can't change your sex. One that's, way not, or that's not how you work. I mean, maybe one day science will be able to do that, but not currently. You cannot change your sex. But my point is All that right. you can be a man or you can so be I'm a woman. As far as I'm gender and sex and that, are the same thing. They are not the same thing. in the English language. The, the thing English I want to say. Me and you are using the English language right now to okay. communicate with one another. But do you check? You other... gender in I'm sorry, continue. And that's Listen. your sex taxonomy, and that has nothing to do with, um, with, with like anything else. Like a man can do anything he wants and still be a man. A woman can do whatever she wants and still be a woman. Um, there is no like rules of how to be a man, how to be a woman. That's just part of the society. That's just all the rules are just limiting. Right, yeah. I mean, uh, and I would be a man regardless of what to do with my life. Doesn't matter. Like, and there is nobody. That's that's fine. And I, I, I they do come from society. They could be you different like, in different um, societies. Oh, you lagged for a second. I thought you stopped talking. Yeah, society doesn't exist. It's society it's the that says that men can't do X, Y, Z, and women can't do X, Y, Z, even though they can physically. And that's just the sexism in society. And that's what I want. I've like, got to turn you, you, got to turn you volume down, Jim. Man, I, you keep waving in and out. It's meant to be a one on one between me and yeah, you. Yeah, I just want to get away from the sexism. Yeah, as far as I'm society. concerned, and I don't mean to be rude or disrespectful, right? Yeah. The, um, in the English language, and the sex is male and female mean the same thing they always have i'm an englishman of umpteenth generation right yeah i know my i know my language really really well gender is a biological term for the can sex can i ask you easy three we're going into a store okay and you see someone that has makeup on and they're wearing a dress they even seem, dare I say, and I'm saying this for the situation, they even seem kind of pretty and attractive to you. Now, we have no way of looking at their genitals, right? We're not going to go up there and, and pull the skirt down? But we can look at... Um, what's your point? What's your point? My point is, are you going to call this woman a she? Or I said, I guess I, I fed it by saying woman. Are you going to call this person a she? Are you going to use female pronouns? If I think it's a female, uh, I would say that. Dependent. If I think it's a male, I would Everyone's say that. Everyone's a unique individual. I'll, I'll judge every situation upon its individual stature. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But right. okay, but I generally... If I know, listen, if I genuinely know, if I know, or they've let me know in any which way, shape or form, that they are a man biologically, right? Yeah. Uh, then uh, I will refer to them as that because that's part of my identity and who I am. You accept that, and even as you, if you think gender and the sexes are not the same, and I only acknowledge their biological sex, I can't possibly be misgendering them anyway, does it? So everyone's a winner. I can go around acknowledging people's biological sex as and when that information has been made available to me. 
it will never be mis- and it will never be- and it will never be misgendering anyone will it correct i do not care if you whatever pronoun because i always say the pronoun test is a, is a test of whether you're an asshole or not i, I hate when they do I, yeah, but or, or any of that I'm, stuff am i correct you have that information that i am a male to female transgender you can use that as you please my bigger concern is the stranger. The stranger is that you're going to call them she. You're going to use because you are not. Why? Going why? To why check. you? Because the scenario why are you, assuming you I already have to agreed. use. No, I didn't. Why are you assuming I have to call them anything? I, why can't I just say, "All right, dude." Dude is unisex. I guess. I guess you can mean you man can. or woman. I mean, I used to call there people lady, and men used to get offended. And I used to go, I call everyone lady. Yeah, irrelevant. But dude is actually a unisex word. It means city slicker. Anyone like the teen? Have you watched cartoons? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They called April O'Neil dude all the time, right? Yeah, she, because she was a reporter in the city. She was an actual city slicker back in the day. Predominantly, males used to run the city, so only men were called dudes but officially anyone can be a dude male or female if they're a city slicker city dweller and so sure I need to My... use any i don't need to use any word that denotes their sex do i i can just call them dude and that caters for everybody you forgot to add that into your scenario no you can i'm just saying do okay can i i guess i'll ask do you call everyone dude why not? If I'm unsure whether they're a man or, or a man or a woman, yeah, sure. Sure, but the scenario here, I don't think you would have thought they were unclear. I guess maybe you are yeah, right but for this. You must you must admit on the internet, right? Yeah, anyone can pretend to be anything they want. And in life, like do you know what I mean? Yeah, like like men Dresses women and vice versa all the I time. Guess, but like gay gay couples, gay couples mimic heterosexual couples. I've seen it. I've seen a gay couple where one looks like a man and the other one looks like a typical girl. Uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and and lesbian couples that do the same. They mimic they heterosexuality. Mimic. I think that's just who they are. Oh well, I, I look at that as mimic, mimicking heterosexuality. Do you when think got, when they like, got a, in that relationship, one became more? Can I finish speaking before? without being interrupted at least once in this conversation? I, I think I have multiple, multiple times. No. Yes. I think when I see like a male, male-looking oh, yeah. lesbian that looks like a butch boy, like you know, tattoos, short hair, crew cut, wearing male clothing. Who's got like a girlfriend who's like bimbo looking, you know what I mean? Yeah, short skirt, all the makeup and blonde and that, right? Yeah. I look at that as mimicking a heterosexual type of rela- heterosexuality type of relationship. Yeah, I do look at it as like, well, they're mimicking what they know. Don't forget, the LGBTQ and all that jazz wouldn't exist if it wasn't for heterosexuals. So what else have they got to mimic out there? They've only got heterosexuals to mimic. They haven't got their own thing yet, have they, I suppose? Right, yeah. So I understand why they do what they do. And at least nothing. respond. Okay. The reason why that's a very silly position, that would assume that they're coming into the relationship and changing themselves to then act like a heterosexual relationship, when in fact it is probably a butch person who likes someone who likes to dress very feminine and a feminine person who likes a woman who likes to dress a little bit butch coming nah, together to, to have a relationship. And there are also lesbians that are too butch and there are lesbians that are too fat. I'm not speaking from a, I'm, I'm not speaking from a sheltered life. Believe it or not. Look at me. I'm like 40. yard. I've been around biker gangs, everything right here. Like raving a lot i know butch lesbians that like to fuck girls like they were like they are men like strap on and fuck them do you know what i mean yeah like, do you know butch me lesbians like, like to get hot right you're interrupting me again uh, it is, i will say they it's like well, i've had conversations with people from the lgbt and obviously uh, uh the, the, the teens use I've I've just I've debated and conversed with them all, and one from at least each section at some point 
in my debating career online has told me in it that a digital online LGBT community you know, it doesn't represent them in any which way, shape, or form. They think that really that's uh, they've told me personally that the digital LGBT community right yeah, was started and all or, or organized by pedophiles. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, trying to fucking. I don't. I think that is a little bit as a means to do it, and a little and that's come raised. from the uh, from people from the LGBT movement themselves. To me, like right, so you know what I mean, yeah. What's that too. about raving and I, you know, I, I doing I do books realize other people heart can heart be stupid too, as grown ups do. But yes, I will say there is no link between LGBTQ people and being a pedophile. That is a stereotype well, un, that no. religious people try need, to push. Even though movement. you say you aren't religious, you do seem to at least have views that align with a lot of the Abrahamic views oddly enough so what do you think about butch lesbians that like to be topped they like a really femme girl to to really peg them and show them their place right no the um the abrahamic religion has some parallels with me do you know what i mean you know, like you've got that mixed up unfortunately <laughs> but i guess my question yeah. still what do you think about butch lesbians that like to be topped I am indifferent, each to their own. When, I, I, my, my opinion is uh, equality. I am a great believer in equality. I think you should be treated equally in law like everybody else, and so should everybody else from the LGBT community. Uh, I do actually believe there's a strong link between online paedophilia and the LGBT. Like, listen, paedophilia and paedophiles sure, are all but that is life. stupid and misinformation. I finished speaking. Right, I'm no, going to turn no, you down, no. right? If you interrupt me one more That's time, I'm just okay. going to turn you down. And gonna There's only two of you speaking. You guys can manage some interruption. Jesus Christ. Okay. But I will say, it's a, just, anytime they, they just you, cannot help I will but just speak, mute you if you do this again. If you try to I've link... I've been a polite throughout this entire conversation. I've turned you right down. I can't hear you now. Right, yeah. I truly believe... Right, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just going to mute him and continue to point out that LGBTQ people have no link to any sort of sexual assault and pedophilia. And so when he is saying these types of things, I will say there is a link between things like the Catholic Church. There is numerous sexual assault scandals within not only Protestant but Muslim communities. So... I am going to stop talking at the end of this. He is muted, at least on my end. I'll wait from his video until he stops talking. I'll eat or something. Talk to you guys here. Thank you guys for being with us. I uh, hope you all are enjoying this premiere. It's going about as much as I expected. Here he's going on. I'm sure he's saying many terrible things. These are the people that say they're not religious, yet on each and every time they try to say that, uh, you know, the religion is corrupted. Also, you know, the gays and all that, they're terrible people. Maybe this will give him the message. If not, I want to stay here. Oh, that might have. Oh, da, da, da. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Um. But yeah, I did give him a chance. I gave him two. It's just, it's the tired old trope. Of LGBT, I love trans people. Be... I love trans people a lot. Thank you. I, I'm bisexual, so I love straight people. <laughs> or bisexual. It wasn't a try. It's around. It's well okay. known within Show a source. psychology, Show a source. criminal law. Pedophiles are in all walks of life. They're not. They're not just designated to any one area. So for you to deny that they're in the LGBT community, right? Yeah. 
is copianism. Oh no, there's as many copianism um, of monstrous as proportion. many as there are in the street community. I'm not trying to say there can't be. I'm just trying to get you to show a source that there's a higher amount within the LGBT community. Feel free to quote me precisely at any time. You shift. You're having to shift your argument because you you outright denied there was any link whatsoever. Yeah, any then link. That's as in that doesn't mean no one. As far ever. as tackling paedophilia is concerned. Yeah. Do you understand what a link, what a correlation means? Yes. If you've got a community at all, right? Yeah. Then, and in any way, shape, or form, right? Yeah. Tries to. Uh, Educate children or, or get close to children in any which way, shape, or form. Pedophiles are going Religion. to try to uh, worm their way into your community, uh, like they do in all walks of life, right? Yeah, to target children. That's their, that's what they do. They educate themselves and get um, and versed in a proficiency in order to later target children for their sexual hello, hello, hello. this is what i mean this is why I, I there's so much sexual abuse within religion because they have a carte and blanche to just teach their kids their ideology they push it on them oftentimes with the stick that you're going to burn in hell if you do not believe this ideology yeah and the lgbtq plus online digital cult is a religious following like any other Riddled with pedophiles. I'm glad you agree. Do you have a source for that, or is that just your opinion? Is that your feelings about the subject? No, it's a factor of life. My opinion uh, on it factor? is irrelevant. Oh, I, I agree, because you don't have a source. You have no science to back up what you're saying. Uh, right, are you are you trying to deny that the LGBT community have any pedophiles in it? No, just like the straight community. But there you go then. There you go then. So I don't need a source. Here you go. Here you go. He won. He won. Look. He took his headphones off. So you can <laughs> it's true. Point. There is no correlation between LGBTQ. When the words and the mind agree, there's the no further room gonna love for interpretation. This you agree. Don't need a source. No, I think you do need a source if you want to show a correlation. I think you're just projecting your own emotions onto the subject. Not at all. I, I think you it's you it's being emotional. Well, I, I agree, with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. You're speaking over me in a minute. That's about speaking. I agree with you that pedophiles are in all walks of life, in all religions, police forces, governments, like yeah, all the way down to the criminal in the street. Right, yeah, kidnapping kids with their white vans and everything in between. I made this point categorically clear so you didn't feel victimized when I educated you about your own community. That was it, right? Yeah, Water. and then you started shifting the goalposts. Oh, no, no, I know that they're really, but you, like, uh, I want I want a link that there's more there than anywhere else. I never said that. If anything, I try to like ease your emotions and your feelings before i landed the final blow so can we right at now? least agree that there is as so many feeling as a trans individual victimized but i'm going to treat you equally as to anybody else in here that would come with the same shit about their community it needs policing like anyone else especially if it tries to have contact with children in any which way shape or form this is all i need, need to, to know police it very specifically files will be trying to get in they, they worm least, their way into your community can you uh, at least definitely. ask that's me, how they operate do you think that we should police the straight community uh, what's the opposite of straight okay uh, i thought it was bent no, so please, do you think? Bent. So you, see, now you're becoming a politician. Are you going to answer the question? Do you think we should? Nice, we just gave you're wrong. this whole speech on how we need to police groups. We need to watch them. The heterosexual community. Do they need to be policed? Uh, I don't. I don't look at it as a community. But absolutely, everything I said applies to everyone and everything. Like, Jesus I'm not excluding anybody or any type of community you can think of. If you think the straight community exists, absolutely. Yes, I do not exclude any community, but you can manifest in your mind. If it exists on planet Earth and you can think of it, I agree. It needs to be policed, if it, if, if at all. I mean, like, you know, like, like 
underwater scuba diving lessons do you know what i mean like yeah I, like for adults 18 plus only right yeah perhaps that doesn't need to be policed as much for pedophiles as say school teachers or say like you know people that are trying to act in and around children if this if the stuff that's designed only for 18 plus perhaps like you can lower your guard a little bit but ultimately right yeah pedophiles are in all walks of life that's you know there's no doubt a pedophile out there who's a scuba diver who teaches 18 plus for his day job or her day job do you know what i mean yeah undoubtedly every community all walks of life yeah i'm not trying to say me as a heterosexual and the heterosexuals that there's no heterosexuals out there who don't molest kids and are pedophiles of course there are do you know what i mean yeah they're in every community yeah, thus, what we should say is we should police society for pedophiles. Um, I don't agree with the term society. It's like, it's like when you say we oh police, we should police society. Police is a concept in itself. The idea of policing is a concept that's got detail and definition. But then police in society, society is another concept that's got detail and definition. So police, a concept that's uh, policing <laughs> another concept, right, yeah, becomes a bit ridiculous, right, yeah? We need to police individuals. Sure, so that's silly. Individual. These are all concepts. An individual is a concept. And society is made out of individuals. Uh, yes. Basic logic. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah An yeah, individual yeah, yeah. always exists. No, an individual exists. I exist right now, yeah, regardless of what you call society, me. What here I am. I am. You cannot point or show me a picture of society. Absolutely, I can. I can take fashion. a picture it's of America from space. Of the mind Look at America society. There. Whereas <laughs> me as an individual, regardless of whether you want to call me an individual, I'm not a concept in the grand scheme of things, in the process of logic. Whereas society is a concept, and so is policing. Whereas I am an individual, individuals can be policed under this concept, but a, con a concept policing another concept before it even gets to the individual is entering the realm of absurdity, absurdism. One, I'm not wished to entertain. You're just so choosing what is a concept and what isn't. Hey, you look like a really cool Frenchman. Have you got a cigarette and a glass of wine? Segundo. Wow. You have a cigarette. <laughs> and then, are you, what's it called? What are they called? Uh, I have a melodica here, not a harmonica. Wait, a harmonica? <laughs> they're, not, they're, not, they're not called harmonicas. They're not called harmonicas, are they? Yeah. But also, EB3, I got five more minutes, and then I probably should go back to training. Dig the barrow, man. Hey, Newman, I have information. I think you're right. Man, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but yeah, all you need, man, is a glass of red wine and a cigarette. We have a bit of wine here. <laughs> this is not. We're almost, almost there. Uh, almost. Almost. Have you. And a string of onions around your fucking neck oh my oh, god i love, I love fried i love fried onions they're something that goes very very well with uh, basically anything that you you make like think about that nicely fried steak right put some fried onions with it Mamma mia. Love makes it. it better think about uh, that nice sauce uh, amy that nice uh, tomato sauce I mean you man yes uh, uh, it's been great talking to you, man. Um, we can just cut it, yeah, and we can continue another time if you want. Let's just think. I'll tell you what. Shall I cut this out and upload it so we can remember what each of us said? Think about what each of us said. Wait, I'm recording. And then it. improve on it next time. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm gonna upload a copy as well to my channel. Damn, Peace, I'm gonna man. be famous, boys. Cool. Hello, my name is Zed. I'm a. But it was good talking to you and uh, to many more conversations. Goodbye, y'all. Uh... Love people, for... love people. Love people. humans. We're all brothers and sisters after all, guys. Come on. Spread love. We are indeed. We are all brothers and sisters. And thus, I love you all.
platonically. But if I love Jesus you all here, so much. He would love trans people too as well. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. And all right, on that note. Mwah! All right, y'all. It has been fun. I had a good time. And uh, we'll see you all. I guess I'll be uploading this. And um, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, sunny, share, all the good things of shilling, the super chats and the super thanks and the channel membership that evolves. Do, 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 do. That one actually does evolve like Pokemon. It normally doesn't evolve like Pokemon, at least in biology. That's what the creationists think. Patreon, patreon.com slash Amy Newman. I am Amy Newman. James W. and myself wish all of you a lovely rest of your day. Good night.